Hey guys, welcome to my review of the Mobile Suit Gundam Wayne Endless Waltz Glory of the Losers Volume 14. Yes, the last volume, the one that is not on the internet. I finally got my hands on it. So let's go ahead and dive right into this review. So let's check out the cover as you can see here. Here I'm really not looking pretty good. I like the artwork there. Uh, the colors are very darn nice. And here you can see the spine. And just the name of the manga, you know, the story and everything. And the number 14 right there. And the back, yes, this is the Fixed Figuration Metal Composite Wayne Gundam Zero. That's why the shield is different. The one I have back there is actually the Katoki version. So, nice artwork. And here you can see these little funny manga strips that they have. It's pretty nice and everything. And there is cool. There you can see the table of content telling you all the chapters. And of course, Gundam Epion there looking pretty darn awesome. And a little bit of backstory, of course. Remember that I cannot show you everything. Uh, here you have Lady On when she wakes up. And Trace charging the Libra with, of course, sex saying, shook him down. As you can see here, Trace is gonna be basically be killed, but no, Lady On steps in the way at the last second and saves him. And there you can see the destroyed Wayne Gundam, and no, the Trace works do not come from the Wayne Gundam. Yes, I was expecting it to come from it, but no, uh, they really blindsided me there. And we have uh, more, you know, looks of just when the piece million grams the Libra that looks uh, that looks so awesome honestly that is so cool and here we have Wayne Zero acting all badass you know rescuing Melina and Hilde and just look more of Wayne Zero looking so good darn cool but there's a couple more things here's another one of those splash pages that I love heavy arms look so awesome and of course, the big fight that you guys probably wanted to see. Which, let me back up here. We have Wayne Zero versus Epion. But, there's a little bit more. Yes! As you can see here, the Heat Saber for the Tolgis too. That's a new weapon. And of course, I'm gonna show you how Trace dies. Because, if you haven't watch the anime well if you have watched the anime you know it's pretty much the same honestly that's the whole thing about this manga as you can see there and that's how he dies and that's why you know Nakatu doesn't have the tail laser in the Endless Wolves movie because it gets destroyed by Trace so yeah so a lot of it, a lot of the story goes exactly the same as the TV version you know the doctors all get killed you can see the new weapon for Epion, the Storm on Drag, that actually go on the forms, which is pretty awesome because they actually can actually stop a blast from Wayne Zero's Buster Rifle, and when you use them as a weapon itself, <laughs> check out that bean sword. That is pretty darn cool. But here you can see you're blocking it and getting rid of the Buster Rifle. Yes, the whole fight goes just like the TV version. No Buster Rifle. And it's pretty darn awesome. Here you can see a little bit more of that famous part where they're flying and shooting at each other with the Vulcans. Winsor is double beam saving it. I mean, it's just so cool. And of course, Hero is gonna win, and the whole thing is gonna blow up, and he's gonna self destruct. But before he's gonna be able to do that, check what happens now. Of course, the Epion shows up. Sacrifices himself, close a block, but there's still some more. But let me back up. As soon as Hero defeats Sex, let me show you something. I'm a little bit further back. Look what happens. Look what it says. Wait, what happened to your Buster Rifle? So. Wufei brings the Buster Rifle, but it has the three swords, and as you can see there, Catherine and his people right, made this for you, so uh, it is really awesome. And then you have Wayne Zero with the Trace, of course, just getting ready to fire, 
That atmosphere shot looks so awesome in the final shot pose. Of course, and then the blast. The blast that destroys Libra. And then we get the burn mode. Now this is in atmosphere mode, which makes sense because it's still in the Earth's atmosphere. And we don't see it with the out atmosphere mode, but here you go. If you ever wanted what the letter said, it just said happy birthday and that's it. That's pretty much it. And then you have this cool splash page there, which is pretty darn awesome. Or winter with the drakes. I cannot wait to get my drakes, that's for sure. <laughs> but yeah, the rest is just some promotion material. And there you go. That's really the whole manga. Uh, nothing else for me to show you guys, but yeah, that's the whole manga. And I have to say, if you like the TV version, this is pretty much the same. It does um, tell you a few things, you know, I, I know that probably the, the whole thing that threw me off was that I was expecting the Drace to come from Wayne Gundam. But no, they actually came from Katra. And the thing is that when does that happen but then i remember that uh of what volume 13 is online it's not completed i think it goes to to chapter 75 and this start, this one starts at 80 so there's stuff missing um i'm guessing you i would have to buy volume 13 to know what happens when katra decides or Quatra decides to, you know, to make make them for Hero, but it, it's actually pretty cool that he just, Wufei just goes like, hey, here, here it goes. It doesn't tell you if he made a new Buster Rifle completely or he just, you know, made the Dregs and Wufei got the Dregs and the other ones. So, yeah, that is not explained, but hey, um, it's a pretty nice manga, you know, the I like um, the colors, I like how well and everything is detailed. The story obviously, like I said, if you like the TV version, you're gonna like this one. Um, you know, it's that last episode. But, man, I, I was hoping that Trace, they would have made that battle a little bit longer, maybe seen something else, but I basically played out the same as it did in the the TV version well, the, with the accession, you know, the Heat Saber and destroy Nakatu's um darn I forgot the bean cannon let's call it the bean cannon you know that that's how it goes but <laughs> darn I'm really happy I made this video because there's no reviews there's really little images of this manga online it's like they got rid of it you know and man it, it's still you know it's still pretty nice. If you're a fan of Gundam Way, I suggest you may pick it up. Um, right now, like I said, since it's pretty much you already know the story and everything, I have mine just displayed um, behind my Wing Gundam Zero version car. And by the way, I am getting Drake Swords for that, but mine are the newer Swords. Oh, yeah, the Snow White ones. not, And they're not made by AW. They're not the AW ones. These ones are made for another company by uh, and sold by a website that is all about Gundam fans. And trust me, those ones are going to be awesome. I should be getting them, be getting them later this month, supposedly. We'll have to wait and see. But once I do, I'll definitely have a review on those. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please like, comment, and subscribe for more. And I'll see you guys next time.